when people say in the comments the stuff that's removed, obviously everyone's going like, why would that even be mentioned? They'll just go like, it is mad the way he said that thing about that celebrity getting fucked or something. Like, and they're like, by a pig. And you're like, what? Yeah. Then where's that? And they're like, oh, I got, got caught up in the VOD, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're always like, what the fuck? Where is it? It's like, you're never going to see it, mate. I yeah, it's over for you. The, 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 thing, the thing that fucking really does boil my piss, though, is like, because of that mistake, every week there's somebody going, hi there, Richard. I was thinking about, you know, four patrons. Could there be a secret <laughs> show? Yeah, because that wouldn't get out there. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, because like, yeah, you, yeah. well, you're yeah. not a fucking We've spy nailed it. <laughs> sent by <laughs> Kotaku. You think I was fucking born yesterday? Defeats the object. You get it live or you fucking don't. Sam has it all geared up to go immediately. As soon as the show goes off, VOD is down. Shut clips down. are down. We, do, we have to live this way. It's just the world we live in. Two years from now, this podcast can't exist. You do as well, by the way. Like I, Enjoy I used to it while it's here. I used to think you were being paranoid about the whole clips thing. <laughs> but then the amount of times I saw something get to Reddit where you were just like, I think Team Liquid should maybe consider like automatic. And it was like, Richard Lewis confirms Team Liquid signing automatic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was like, they can't be trusted. This is why we can't have nice things. You guys have ruined it for everyone. Like, it's just oh, so beautiful as a fuck you. When listen, I can, so I just pick, can I pick a, a roster move to talk about next? Because <laughs> I've just seen one. I think you yeah, won't see it came I, I was, was going to do all the Swedish Listen, stuff, but go on. This, this one came jump, out a few minutes amazing. ago, and you need to know this. Da, 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 breaking news, breaking news. Come through on the on the yellow tracker here, right? Hello, Tony. Listen to this, right? On right. HTT News, I've never heard that before. It says, sources. Are you ready? You're going to love this. Dick Stacy yeah. benched from Renegade. Oh, yeah. Hat, yeah. so I don't even know. It's just some guy replaces him. So yeah. basically, when they actually finally got to a real org, they turned to him and they just go... We don't really need that whole shit gimmick about you having a penis. So uh, we're just going to get a good clip. See ya. It's like, that's actually mental, isn't it? And you know right. what that means, by the way, Richard? He's no mm. longer a professional player. Oh, I know it's shit. Weird. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Boom! shit. Boom! No, listen, right? So check me, atheist. <laughs> yeah, no, full check me, atheist. <laughs> no, but listen, right? So here's the thing. I'll, right. It's not even you can go, oh, but he's a support player. Oh, he plays all the despicable roles. He doesn't. <laughs> He's just garbage. Like, he's just straight garbage. I remember, fucking hell, I, I saw an argument with someone on fucking Reddit where they were going, why is it that every other in-game leader besides Dick Stacy, right? This is legit what he said. Why is it every other in-game leader besides <coughs> Dick Stacy, right, is allowed to have uh, terrible stats? And someone replied with, Dick Stacy is not the IGL. And underneath, he just went, just checked. You're right. My God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, you have no idea how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, honestly, like he was in Chernobyl and he actually got a fucking reading that worked. Like, went, oh, my God. Yeah, you're all dead. Like, you fucked. Yeah, the rats <laughs> fucked. readers are capped at 999. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my God. Yeah, exactly. Dick Stacy's ratings cap at 0 0.5. <laughs> my God. <laughs> He didn't realize that all the time he wasn't working on his game. All the time he wasn't building a brand that showed that there was a bit more to him than just knob jokes, right? He didn't realize that when he was kicked from this team, which was always going to happen at some point, that, that there isn't another door open for him. So he's going to be some cunt, like working in retail or something, and someone's going to come in, buy a pair of them ninja shoes or something. <laughs> Flossing on the way in, like yeah, <laughs> got them ninja shoes, and someone's going. I oh, know you didn't. You used to, didn't you? Used to play Counter Strike. Are you Dick Semi Pro? Yeah, and that's it. And that's his life now. So well, anyway, Booger, you want you want fries before. with that Booger? <laughs> nah, <laughs> listen, you fucking loser, man. I'm a I'm a I'm the rookie of the year, bitch. Was it? Listen, I've got a lot of time, even for people who have like weird phobias and stuff. Because I know that, like psychologically, it can affect you the same way. I know that, like when when there was like a fucking show where a woman was scared of balloons, everyone was laughing. It's like, no, you have to understand. She has an irrational fear of balloons, like you do for spiders. Like people who scream a little spider, you'd understand it, right? So if it's balloons, you don't get it. But the thing is, when people have like weird drug habits, there was mm -hmm. one that was unbelievable. I still cannot get it out of my mind. There was a woman whose life went off the rails, and she was huffing like fucking dust cleaner that you use for the monitor. This is a really famous one because famously they, they film her while she's like totally degenerate doing the drugs. And when she does yeah. the, when she goes like, <gasps> she, she just goes like, she says some shit that's like beyond like that fucking Skittles advert. Cause she just goes like something like, I'm walking on sunshine. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so it's like completely outrageous like that like like i guess oh she's like dmt triple or something like ah oh, i can feel the rainbow <laughs> so like, man my, it wasn't even favorite. like a fake viral video for skittles or anything it was nothing like, man nothing beats that episode of the fucking intervention with the fucking you know that and knowing my heart oh I that's the best one ever love yeah. you it's just the delay Mate, it's the delays Mate, the best the part because like, at first you think, oh, no, still no reaction, best, like... pretty hard, man, kind of stoic. And then he just goes, <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. It's so it's fucking amazing. Ridiculous. It? Imagine... That is actually amazing, though. You don't don't think to yourself. I remember Kuzi. He was good. That was the beginning of 2016, four years ago. Four. What did he do in the last four years? He literally like. Fuck that Molotov up that Moore yeah. called him out for. That's about it. And then he was in Ghost or whatever, wasn't he? Like, that's it. No, but didn't he have, he, didn't he, and the defuse? And he fucked the defuse up, yeah. <laughs> and then he fucked his whole career up. And you know the worst thing of it all? This yeah, is one that? area where normally, right, I give credit to Moses. Because he's such an amiable guy. He'll go with the floor. <laughs> you know, I think the best. Go. He still to this day just won't let the Cousta one go. He still deep down believes it's possible. It's like, mate, just come up, just come out with the news. Where were you when this guy nine months before this guy was born was? It's getting suspicious now, motherfucker. Like, this is just too wrong. Like, what happened? Did he pull you? Are you literally? Does he have one kidney? And that's what yeah, you're alive right now, Moses. What the fuck's going on with you? Why? Why are you just still loving him four years later? He becomes one of the best teams in the world. Start bigging up them. Start liking fucking Nafly or Twist or some shit. Why Cooster still? Listen, M M Moses can love whoever he wants. To it's ridiculous, love. isn't it? And you, you shouldn't judge him for that. It's love. ridiculous. We're, we're better than that. We're better than that. You know, of course, they actually went out and uh, they addressed the toxicity as well, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. And, and, and I think what was interesting was they were complaining about like players getting like DMs and, and tweets at them when they lost games because like they'd cost people skins or whatever the fuck. They and, and then when somebody said, Does this mean we can't do North anymore with the wheelchair symbol in? I think like the North manager were like, Oh no, that's perfect. Yeah, fine. there we go. Like, that's what I was referring to. Exactly. Yeah, it's like, no, nah, it ain't. That's actually way worse than, than people like, telling you you're that? a shit cunt. Yeah. What, I know, what, it, listen, no toxicity, please. What about people in wheelchairs? Fuck them. Like, what? <laughs> Where's the, <laughs> What standard is this? I know. Esports <laughs> is a fucking sewer, mate. Every day, like, you just have to bump into people just being completely ridiculous. I can't handle it. Um, well, anyway, Speaking while we're talking rich, about ridiculousness, let's, uh, let's, have, bitch, let's have a look at their that fucking logo. Too much. <laughs> Has it done yet? It's the one uh, on the right, yeah. I like kid eating the apple. Well, yeah, I don't know if Sam can bring that tweet so up, but basically this is what it? I did before. Yeah, because, like, obviously everyone knows the kid eating the apple meme, can right? Can defend this shit, can no, you? No, you can't, can you? So, like, I don't understand what the fucking rebrand was. was it? <laughs> I don't know what the rebrand... So busting up. <laughs> no, like, man, some of the memes as well, like, with the fucking... He looks like, he looks like he's just been... Demon. Plowing that apple with his fucking teeth. <laughs> I bet it was like a combine harvester or something. Fucking. <laughs> I get disgusting. That logo was a good shot as well, isn't it? <sighs> no, but like the fucking. Why have they done that? It's meant to be a fucking dragon. Like, they said it's a dragon. It does. It looks like a fucking warthog. Like. To moon and fucking Pumber or whatever the fucking called. It's ridiculous. Right. So there's a player <laughs> called there's a player called Malta. I'm already reading this. It's so no, it's mental, isn't it? There's a player called Malta, as you know, and apparently he didn't have a working mic the entire game against Cloud Nine. So people are discussing that, right? And then this guy, <laughs> Jonathan Cowfucker73. <laughs> <laughs> already stupid as fuck isn't it and by the way he's about to talk about people's names like this yep. is, there's no self-awareness involved with no this i don't <laughs> jonathan cowfucker 73 and he said malta is that a player i don't really play csgo anymore but this just really confused me is he aware that malta is a country <laughs> Seems a bit weird to choose a nickname that is a country. Like, fucking beam me up, like. Anyway, Vince deserves rusty better. Rusty one. <laughs> Playing the rusty one, but I knew you were going to go there as well immediately. Like, don't Google that, kids. <laughs> don't, uh, don't. <laughs> don't Google that, whatever you do. Um, don't look on Google image search. So, this this was by Wired41. 
<laughs> I've been following Vince's career for a while, and it's sad to see him not be in a better position. He's he's doing a dream. <laughs> oh, give him a break. Like... Fucking hell, he could be seaside. What are you talking about? Love you, Caesar. <laughs> Why is, in the chat? Of course, all this, this this podcast is proof that shit rolls down here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, unbelievably, unbelievably scum. Uh, anyway, uh, I met with I, I met with him at Leipzig while he was getting food. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> He's going like, skip, skip me, Vince. And I see you eating that chicken leg there, but I actually think you deserve oh, that. Oh, the idea that sound, well, but, yeah. Like, oh my if god! You can just buy me. I'm just having my dinner. I, and that. Me, I honestly, when I first read this, I thought it was going to be like that copy pasta. Like I saw him in like the shop. Oh, and, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Anyway, and spoke to. And then he goes, I, I, I met with him at Leipzig while he was getting food, and spoke to him about it. Like obviously, meaning his position, eating not food, the food. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. How's food? <laughs> How, is that delicious? You're probably going to the... burn that for <laughs> calories in that to keep your body going. I, yeah. I'll do that as well. Yeah, we should I'll sit together and be that. mates. I yeah. too am a bio robot. I eat foods. Yeah. Uh, from following his Twitter, it seems he's not involved in any of the leagues. And even at DreamHack Opens, this is the, the mental part, he's relegated to casting the lower tier games with That's lower tier casters. His last two being Dust and pimp now listen right if he actually said that we've just caught vince out haven't we it turns out he when he's around, no vince obviously he's, didn't say this maybe this he's just gone game of thrones maybe the truth is the wired 41 maybe he goes listen kid you seem cool you eat food and that just let me let you know something <laughs> that can you, this, what it is. this all ties you know in i have to again. cast with that little rat <laughs> once, once oh, sorry, again. Just, sorry, mate. chicken mate <laughs> Once again, see, Dunk, and I've managed to holistically tie the show together with a the theme. Come on. Because the theme is all about, like, people really b being devoid of empathy and not understanding that, okay, he thinks he's empathizing with Vince and going, yeah. Vince is in a terrible position and I really want to help Vince out by making this thread and hopefully we can get Vince into a better place. There is absolutely no need to fucking <laughs> imply Dust is a unpimp a low tier cast as low tier talent. There's absolutely no need to even bring that into the equation. No, but I'm just saying they are shit, though, and they don't deserve and to be it, around. And, and, and this thread goes to the front. It's the top post of the Cisco subreddit. So, you know, Pimp wakes up. He's been in the gym. He's sharpened his chin. Oh, Vince. I love, I love Vince. Yeah, he does deserve better. Let me have a look. Oh, good news about casters, finally. Let's see a bit of this. All right, this guy met him. Vince seems like a cool guy. <laughs> Don't be around low-level fuckers like Pimp and Vince. Oh, that's my just your idea ruined, didn't it? Like, how many kicks to the balls is Dust going to get from Reddit? Like, how many times is Dust going to be sat man-spreading and Reddit's going to take a run-up and kick both of his fucking pods <laughs> up into his fucking skull? Like, why are you doing that? Like, why? <laughs> why are you doing that to fucking Dust? And then he has the audacity to say in the next sentence, I don't want this to be a pimp dust hate thread. <laughs> Could have left him out, mate. Amazing. Could have left him out. And then he goes on and says, listen, I enjoy them on the desk uh, uh, and think they get too much hate. They aren't casting material, though. That's the soul career. Cheers, fucking, Simon Cowell. Like. You have literally fucking spread your cheeks and took a diuretic <laughs> shit all over Dustin's life. <laughs> it's fucking unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Think about you, Sam. You got a great ass.